Dude, you need to wait five. Oh, I don't know what is going on, but something is happening for sure. In this situation, you want to aim for the heroes, but he's kind of not moving. What is up, guys, and welcome to the Beyond Sanas channel. My name is Shanks, and today we are going to cast a replay for Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.2 on the beautiful map Backland, which was brand new added to the patch 2.22, and it's a good matchup too. You have the orange Gondor player Mateusz, his ally at the bottom right side is the white Rohan player Rangel, and against the blue Gondor player Praxi, and his ally top right is the blue Mordor player Mirsi. So, Three out of four factions are actually good, Gondor or Rohan, and there is only one faction which is evil, and that is the Mordor top right. We have a situation of Swartman against Swartman, but the Hobbit is gonna make the difference. Good micro here from the Hobbit. And the host player of this game is also the white Rohan at the bottom right side. And this is a not, not a bad map for the evil faction, even though it's not a big map. Remember, the bigger the map is, the better it is for the evils. But in this map, the tower is doing a good job protecting this settlement over here. So your best bet would be to commit to this one. But Mordor is here with three of his orcs trying to defend. He will also use the Eye of Sauron, which means the peasants, they don't stand a chance. In the meantime, Matthias is in a defensive formation. He's also starting with a barracks, by the way, which is something we don't see very often. And yet again, he's kind of struggling. He's struggling to not only put any pressure, but... To even if just be able to defend himself and that's gonna be a very early steven coming up for the gondor player rexy rangel in the meantime is going also for the stable himself it looks like gondor will go for the infantry and rohan will go for the cavalry that's a strategy you can definitely do in the patch 2.22 in which everything is possible boys okay and mordor going for a counter attack which is something i don't like to see very you know quite a lot because you should be creeping instead in my opinion you can creep this one or this one most importantly will give you additional settlement which is pretty nice and decent but he chooses to put pressure ignoring the peasants and committing to the farm that's what you want to do and hopefully for mordor he will be able to take it down in the meantime this farm has been actually destroyed which is pretty nice for the blue gondor player craxy and he was also able to cloak his hobbit very green took there are two hobbits but they are invisible they cannot see each other they are doing this until the second breakfast okay in the meantime gondor because of the barracks opening he's able to put some counter pressure on his opponent he was able to destroy this one and take it but the gondor knight will be just in time to defend the second farm it's gonna be into the second night but i don't like the opening from craxy i think you need additional you know one more farm inside the castle before you go for the stable to get a bit more food bonus making your knights a bit cheaper more affordable and the soldier opening actually again the 2.2 is giving you the meta change on a map like this which is quite small you can definitely start with barracks but you need to understand when you don't achieve too much with it it will cost you lots of time there's now tower guards upon the field he needs to definitely get more eco inside the castle otherwise he will be quite broke and without the mobility advantage i mean tower guards are not that weak uh, they can also 1v1 orcs by the way like the Isengard pikemen but orcs are for free and they will still be able to deal decent amount of damage and you know gondor is doing a good job defending his ally they have still many many creeps left on the map i mean all the creeps beside this one are still remaining which was creeped by rangel now he has three farms under his control which is pre pretty nice so you can fill up the bees a bit faster and that's the plan so what you want to do when you want to go for the infantry, you want to get Faramir recruited or Boromir recruited and creep the trolley in the middle of the map. That's like the hard spot, okay? That's the most important spot which gives the player the chance to buy or build the outpost with three settlements. And when you play good faction, that's even better because then you can build a well and statue and stuff like this which gives you much more control of the center of the map. And then you can rotate from this location to the top, to the bottom, whatever you want. And whenever you need to disengage, you can disengage because you have a well there, you have sustain and recovery potential and you can heal up all the way back to full HP. Yoma here, he was able to kill the Hobbit who was hidden and you right click on ability, it can be charged from the hero itself on an invisible unit. In this case, he was able to clear his ally's arm. And combination tower guard soldier, um, not the best when you play against Gondor Knights, because when you combine units, you lose the ability to switch formation. 
So you cannot use the shield wall formation anymore or porcupine formation anymore, which is the biggest part of making the pikemen to the best counter against the horses. Because then they deal heavy revenge damage. We have trolls on the field now for the Mordor player. Troll number one into the troll number two. Good looking beast for Craxy, the blue gondor top left. And Rohan going for the armory too. Rohan is good eco, but horses all alone won't do anything for you. In the meantime, Boromir was able to creep this one. I was expecting him to creep the troll in the middle, which will be creeped by the Mordor player Mirsi, knocking down the cave troll and showing him who is the boss. But no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Emma was able to get the last hit. Can he get the last hit here on this one? Yeah, actually he got all the experience too. That's amazing. And he was able to get good micro here from the Rohan player. Very well done. But now you need to run. But Boromir is coming. Boromir got buffed in 2.22 big time. Now he's as fast as Lourdes is or Legolas is. So definitely a hero you can rely on in 2.22. Unlike in 1.06 in which he was kind of useless. And also, Troll is running for his life. Oh, long spear shot. 100 in the bank from the outlaw leadership. And Elma takes down the troll. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. And now we are talking because Elma is level 4. Remember, Elma's leadership is only working on the Rohirrim and Gondor Knights. But Boromir leadership works on everybody. Okay. Because he's level 4, he will also give 60% more damage. Which means the Rohirrim Arches with Elma and also Boromir being around will deal so much more damage. We have two Boromirs on the field. Who would have thought? And one arrow coming in clutch from the Faramir, from the young Faramir, trying to kill his own brother, Denethor, would be mad, Faramir. And look at this. I mean, all of a sudden, Mordor Gondo team are actually putting great amount of pressure. That's amazing to see. And they will be eventually even able to break the wall. But now the troll is kind of doomed. And you have a tree in your hands. You can't eat anymore to recover. Oh, nice. Eoma doing it again. But he's junk, 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 junk. Heal. He missed the heal. Oh, my goodness. Faramir has shown his quality in this game. Now the Boromir is saying, don't touch my brother. They are just fine. They are just fine. And losing Eoma, of course, will throw you back a little bit. Because you need to invest a thousand. And most important, you need to invest two minutes. Two minutes is a long time in RTS. The higher the level of the hero, the longer the revive time is going to be. So you gotta be careful to not lose those heroes for no reason. And Boromir battle. One of them is level 3, one of them is level 4. The one with level 4 is from the orange gonna play Matthews. He's giving, you know, leadership to this combo, tower guard, archer combination. And not the best combination in my opinion. You don't, guys, when you play against horses, you don't need to make pikeman combo. Okay. What you can do is you can make normal combo soldier and archer and then you make like one or two extra tower guards and put them in between. So you can use the full potential and by, you know, switching them into the porcupine formation for the greater revenge damage. Tower guards are not bad, but they cost more command points compared to the soldiers, but also they are more squishy against fire arrows, okay? So the normal combos are definitely more rewarding. By the way, this gonna play him, lost his Boromir, but his Faramir is still alive. Rohan is taking over the map. Mordor has uh, plenty of trolls. Two, actually, not many. He has four trolls, two drama trolls. And that's the that's what you want to do. You want to recruit two drama trolls. This way they can support each other with leadership. It's not about the damage, but about the armor. You know, they will make each other a bit more tanky. Actually, 50% more tanky, which is quite significant. Yoma, almost back in the business. Rohan going for the archer range, which he shouldn't. He should just go for the Aragorn and Theorin. And give Aragorn and Theorin to his allies combos. And they have the greatest amount of leadership ever with this combination, Gondor Rohan, because they have Boromir leadership, 60% more damage, Theorin leadership, 30% more damage, and then also Aragorn gives another 50%, okay? You don't need, uh, guys, you don't need Rohirrim archers when your ally has combos, right? When As long as one of the players of your team has fire arrows, you don't need anything else. Ooh, son! <sighs> Bad micro from the Gondor player. You don't want to be clumped like this. Boromir getting knocked down on the ground. Land, land, land. I don't know whose land it is, but I see the Elvin Wood. It might be from the blue Gondor or from the bottom side team. We don't know. But the trolls are finally taken down. They dealt a tremendous amount of damage actually to this location. And the Gondor Rohan team, they need to now build. Disengage. Luckily though, he didn't lose a whole battalion. 
It means, like mentioned before, you send them to the outpost in the middle of the map and they can get back to full HP. But can they though? There comes Mifrandia, the White Rider. But it might be too risky to co commit to the spot, you know. And there comes Faramir. Can he show his quality? Just like this Faramir did, he's level 6 by the way, and has Captain of Gondor available. In the meantime, Archer Range level 2 for the Rohan player. Again, no Aragorn. I think Aragorn would be a better choice. Now, this Gondor also needs to recruit Gandalf. The best way of dealing with Gandalf is another Gandalf. Theoden is only level 1. Level 4 is the power spike we are looking for. Glorious charge for the glorious moment. This Gondor making the transition into the barracks and Archer Range, he's knowing that he needs to make combos. He needs to make combos, which, by the way, is an amazing synergy. With the Mordor faction. Mordor can provide you insane amount of leadership bonuses. They are talking about Drummer Troll, Eye of Sauron, Beach King, later on even Darkness. And this will add up all together. Remember in BFME 1, you can stack all leadership bonuses, which are unique. Unique means you can't have two Drummer Troll leadership bonuses at the same time. But as long as it's a unique hero, power point, spell, or whatever, it will stack. So imagine in a 4v4 situation, the four separate factions. The only problem here with these combos is the lack of, you know, levels. They are all level two. One of them is level three, so they have no fear resistance. They are they have no fear resistance either. So Witch King can mess you up big time. The only way you can get fear resistance is for for Gondor. You need to get Farami level five. You need to have Gandalf, and for Rohan you need to have either, you know, Gimli. At this point, for the combos. Oh, beautiful blast. Nice. It's getting chunk, 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 chunk. Don't commit Mordor. Wait for the Witch King. Wait for the Witch King. You don't want to commit yet. Dude, you need to wait five more seconds. Will it, will it work out anyway? I don't know. But they are glowing, shining bright like a diamond. Ganaf is coming for the round two. But there comes the Witch King. And he's going to use the Screech. Again, no fear resistant. Will mess you up. And that's exactly what happened. Now they will disengage, and you don't want to overcommit Witch King, don't die. Does he have any units inside? No, but he's going for the Gandalf himself. We will have very soon a second Gandalf, the Grey or Gandalf the White on the field. Depending on the power point from Matthias, who, by the way, has the power points for Gandalf the White. So, guys, we are coming to the mid to lead game potential. There comes Eowyn, the shield maiden of Rohan, who is looking, you know, to show her quality by taking down the Witch King just like, he, just like she did. In the films but which king is still alive you have lots of trolls three trolls and he needs more than that maybe moonwakers could be nice but gondor has also now combos upon the field level one but they will level up level up from Faram you see how important the captain of gondor ability is from faramir they got from level one all the way to level three immediately and he has also bottom leadership so bottom leadership Faramir leadership ganoff leadership Plus Drama Troll and Witch King. This combos, holy quackamoly, they will be great bosses. And he even recruits Peregrine Took because just why not? You can even mount him together on the Shadow of X with Gandalf. That's a possibility too. It doesn't do anything, but it looks cool, okay? It's all about the style, boys. It's all about the style. Now they will commit one more time. Rohirrim Archers recruited, okay? Again, no Aragorn. Aragorn is missing. Aragorn is so important, okay? I mean, remember that when there is no Isengard, you can't shut down mortal leadership unless they fight on your Elvin Wood, which hopefully they won't. Oh, but hold on a second. They have glorious charge on Theorin. However, he has no Norman horses. He has only one Rohirrim without the horseman shield. So even... Oh, nice history light. He hit triple kill almost. Big commitment. What is Boromir doing? He's running it down. He's fearless. Level 6. Trolls are committing. You want to kill the trolls first. Gandalf is getting chunk, 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 chunk. He's going to use the shield bubble. He's running for his life. Can he get away? Can he get away? Yeah, he got away. Not even close, baby. He's going to get to the well and look at this. They are running through the enemy units, but there comes Gandalf. We have to white wizard. It has to be good for something. He's looking for an opportunity to blast them, but it was not the best blast. It's Matthias, the orange gonna player, is running for his life even smeagol has been sent forward dude take all what it takes okay do all what it takes to defeat the enemy forces we have three power points in the bank for rangel the rohan player he might go for a later on for the ends uh, in order to get cloud plague you need to pick anduril 
you know in talking about aragorn he is here so you need you need anduril anduril is gonna pretty much anduril for aragorn is pretty much the same thing like Gandalf to white this one for Gandalf. so without anduril he's not very really strong talking about the power points we have three power points but eventually two of them will be invested into the anduril sword then we have Craxy, the blue gondor top left has two power points after the Gandalf to white and look at this ranger in the meantime taking over the map so Craxy has zero farms outside but they are on the alvin wood parami leadership parami leadership dramatron leadership they are glowing it looks like they are healing that's how strong they are okay mordor in the meantime does nothing else but keeps recruiting more and more and more mountain trolls talking about mordor is two power points in a quarter away from getting the darkness unlocked for even a greater amount of leadership bonus okay but again, we have Glorious Charge, we have Aragorn, we have Anduril's Sword, the Jedi Sword. Um, there was a very questionable Glorious Charge, unless you are attempting to go for a beast Git Rush. Uh, not the best choice, <laughs> I'm being honest, because the Glorious Charge is like a long cooldown, 2 minutes and 30 seconds. And Matthews, the orange counter player, has 3 power points in the bank, so he needs 4 power points for Cloudbreak, or he can now go for the Rangers, Grey Company, and save 6 power points after that to get to the Eagles. In order to get to the Eagles, you need to pick either Rohirrim Summon or the Grey Company Summon. They are kind of clumping, oh guys. But it looks like they are building up an army for you of Gondor, Rohan, Gondor, Mordor. And it will bring us to the one epic battle, okay? So what Rohan has to do is he needs to cut the way of these units trying to reach this location. Yeah, exactly. That's what he needs to do. Here, without leadership, without enough leadership, these combos are flies. But ga oh, Gandalf with Tiffin! This is gonna be a fiesta, boom, son! Oh, I don't know what is going on, but something is happening for sure. Gandalf is running for his life. He's getting hard focus, but the combos of Matthias are getting into the... I don't know, man. I don't know what is happening. The trolls are dying anyway. Gandalf is using, but Gandalf is gonna die in a second. That's what I'm talking about. Leadership, leadership, leadership. Aragorn, he thinks he's tanky, but the combos, they don't care about Aragorn. They are level 10 already, but they lost the drama troll. The trolls are going down. Gandalf from Craxy was able to survive. He's almost level 7. And Gandalf from Matthias and Aragorn from Rangel have both been killed. Not only Aragorn, also Elvin has been killed as well as Theorin. Did he look the Witch King? No, Witch King is still alive. That's the most important hero. Yes, you can revive Witch King for free, but it will take you 3 minutes to get him back, which is a long, long time. 3 minutes... It's a crazy long time. So talking about time, so Gandalf will be recruited for two minutes, but he was only level five. He actually didn't get anything. Now we have a siege works, and that's what you need. You need trebuchet, and you want to fight against these co combos because you can't out damage them. That's not possible. This actually looks so cool, man. <laughs> Look at this. Very green took with Gandalf. Craigsy is utilizing every change 2.22 has made. May it be impactful for the gameplay or not? But it looks cool. It looks cool, so we gotta give him a style point for this one, okay? And guys, when we cast those 2v2 games, what I wanna do is we wanna we wanna vote at the end of the game for the MVP. Who you think was the MVP of this game? Now you might not be able to answer the question yet because the game is not over, but don't forget to read in the comment section down below who you think was the MVP. Was it the blue Gondor, orange Gondor, white Rohan, or the blue Mordor? Kind of getting Oh, Cloudbreak from Craxy. Beautiful shot from the trebuchet. trebuchet. You see the trebuchet are hitting like a truck. Nazgul is committing. Faramir is now level 5. You have fear resistant. It means you are immune. Immunity against fear. But I don't know if whose land this actually is. Looks like they are not glowing. Okay. The combos are retreating. Kill this level 6 combo. He's running through you. Dude, guys, killing those combos is so important, but it looks like the level 6 is going to be barely able to get away. We have Boromir alive, Gandalf alive, Paramir alive, Mordor does nothing but recruit trolls. Maybe you need also catapults, maybe you need movement gears, but maybe trolls are just enough. This game is not over yet, but Craxy has actually 3 power points after the Cloud Break, so he's only 7 power points away from the EOD, the Offbreaker army. Mirsi, the Mortal player, has darkness, you can see the map is getting dark. Matthias has six power points he's one power point away from getting to the cloud break yeah, i mean to be honest cloud break i think is better choice here than eagles because eagles against those combos will get one shot it 
in the last player, Rangel is what uh, one power point away from the ends or two power points away from the cloud break. So he needs to. Uh, maybe Gimli could be nice. Call me crazy, but I think Gimli could be a nice hero here. Because what Gimli can do when you place him next to the combos, not only will he provide fear resistant, you know, with level two, but also with level three, you unlock the leap attack, right? Leap attack cannot, doesn't deal too much damage, but hear me out. It will disable the enemy units for a long duration, like a five seconds, six seconds, you know, disabling effect as they get knocked down on the ground. And then your combos will shoot non-stop right that's that's what's important oh the witch king imagine ganaf being around or eowyn and he would have been dead there would be a massive victory there at the pull shots the combos they are tanky but are they tanky enough with a big army dude in this situation you want to aim for the heroes why is ganaf not moving I don't know what's going on, but the trolls are slaughtering. What is the aiming? What are they aiming for? What are they aiming for? Dude, you want to kill the heroes? Farah me alive, Borah me alive, Ganaf alive. Trolls are slaughtering everything before they go down. You can't commit to this. You need normal horses, bro. Uh, okay, Borah me. The only, oh, but look, look the damage. Aragorn is receiving. Will they commit to this, though? That's a big question. I don't know, but I think the Gondor player Craigsy got a lot of power points from this battle. Yeah. Like he got a lot of power points. He only lost Boromir. His Faramir and Ganav are still alive. Good micro from him. And I don't know what Ganav was doing from Mateusz. But uh, Aragorn was at least able to survive. And also Faramir has been killed. So he's going to sacrifice one of the Gondor Knights to kill the Trebuchet. Maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Power point wise, we have four power points for Mirsi. Mateusz has now Cloud Plague for the upcoming battle. But remember, at this point with Ganav being around or Faramir being level almost 10... The fear won't do anything, so you will you will be immune to that. However, besides fearing the enemy units, Cloud Plague also reducing their armor by 30%. Now you might say, but what is 30% if my opponent has 500% armor? You are right, it won't do a lot, but it will also slow them down. So when they want to disengage, that's going to be the power of Cloud Break because then you have the catch potential. This Rohan should be hitting and running, by the way. Let's go for the bees. Horseman shield purchased, that's good. Needs more normal horses. Because what you can do is you can use. Don't tell me what happened. Did he lose there into the Lumber Mill Tower? Let me take a look. Yep, he lost Theorin to the Lumber Mill Tower. And it's a two minutes cooldown. Ganav is being shunned and Ganav is going down. There comes the Anduri Sword. Uh, Legolas, 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 Legolas. Boom, boom, catapult shots coming in clutch. Range is also Cloud Break. They have multiple Cloud Breaks, but Craigsy. We gotta take a look into the Craigsy power points. He's eight power points in the bank. If Aragorn dies, he's gonna get to Aragorn, Anduri. I mean, not Aragorn, Anduri. The big AOD. Okay? They're fully committing. Cloud Break is still active. You can see they're moving in slow motion. Faram is running for his life. He will be aiming to the trebuchet. Throws are running it down. Beautiful blast coming in from, from the Voyang Giza player Ganav. He's level 6 now. Power points are rising to the sky. Take a look into this and boom, we have 10 power points in the bank. You know what time it is? It is time to summon the army of the dead. Witch King and Drama Troll and Eye of Sauron. Mordor all alone is including here, offering you 150% damage leadership, which is unbelievable. And did I say 150? No, I meant 183 because also darkness is available. AOD will be used, not even needed. The Combos, dude. I am telling you, the only way you can win this is by aiming, which is easy said than done, because the positioning of Mortal Play is actually quite nice. He's keeping the Drama Troll in safety, and he has four of them. If you kill one, he has three. If you kill two, he has two. If you kill three, he has still one. And then you need to kill all four, which is not easy to do. The AOD will be sent forward, and what a big battle. And you can see, this should be the demonstration what Mordor can do when you play with Mordor ally. I know some people don't like Mordor because Mordor is a very unique playstyle. But in a team game, when you play Isengard with Isengard, Rohan or Gondor, the amount of pure strength and you know durability you can offer to your ally is immense, okay? It's immense. It's unbelievable. So, unless the enemy team gets somehow AOD, which is... Look, I mean, Rangel has zero out of 200 available command points. He has only Theorin and Ioma. He lost Aragorn. He lost every single horse. Rohirrim Archer, Rohirrim he had. And he needs time and money. 
Money is not looking too bad for Angel because he has multiple level 3 farms. 1, 2, 3, actually even 4 farms outside. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 farms in, uh, with the farms inside. But there comes the siege. And Mordor doesn't need siege weapons. Your trolls can do this for you. Yennef is dead. Barami is dead. Boromir is dead. He has two combos without leadership. What can they do? And they come for you. But look at the combos, dude. What is the army of Gondor, man? How many combos? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven combos. Rohirrim summon. Trolls are smashing everything. And you see, the Mordor didn't look, didn't do like a phenomenal, outstanding performance. It didn't need to. All you need to do is don't lose your Witch King, don't lose your Drama Troll. Play safe with them. Uh, we gotta give him credits because I think he lost only Witch King once, or maybe not a single time. I think he was able to save him almost every single in every single situation. And he was playing it smart, you know, smart. And yeah, you can't. You just can't. Dude, this army, duo. This army is so strong. Holy guacamole. I mean, yeah, without EOD, you can't. You just can't. I mean, you like, at this point, again, they had like a window of being able to push because Craxy didn't have combos by the time. But it was just not enough. GG well played. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like to this video. Subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep eating like a truck. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay beyond standards. Peace out.